be nice if I'm the one that's cantankerous. She's thinking it'd be nice if you had another wife so I could get a break. It on the nose. <laughs> that kind of comment just makes me want to vomit. Maybe you should look at the whole big picture then in a situation like that. Figure out how you can work together and be together instead of using somebody else as an escape. If you're a fan of the show, you know that the Brown family consists of Cody Brown and his four wives, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin. But did you know that Mary Brown recently slammed Cody on social media and said that he makes her want to vomit? And did you know that Robin Brown coerced Mary to exclude Janelle from their holiday plans? What's going on in this polygamous family? Why are the wives turning against each other? And what does Cody have to say about all of this? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Although Mary and Cody Brown announced their 32 year marriage would end in December 2022, their issues actually began far earlier. Since Mary became embroiled in a catfishing scandal in 2015 when she fell in love with a man online who turned out to be a woman claiming to be a man, their relationship has actually been on the rocks. Mary and Cody have been living apart ever then, scarcely speaking to one another. Cody even acknowledged that he no longer considered Mary to be his wife and that he wouldn't object if she married someone else. Mary, on the other hand, was still holding out some kind of optimism that they could sort things out and mend their relationship. But things became worse when Cody decided to go on a trip with his friends during the epidemic despite his tight travel restrictions for the rest of his family. Cody told his friends why he valued plural marriage and what he expected from his wives while they were on the trip. He stated that he wanted them to be independent, self-sufficient, and not needy or clingy at the end of the day. He added that he didn't want to be in charge of their fulfillment or happiness. Mary was incensed and disturbed by Cody's words when she watched this episode of Sister Wives. He was called selfish, inconsiderate, and hypocritical and shared it on Twitter. You make me want to throw up, she wrote. You've got no idea what it's like to be a father or a husband. You don't care about anyone but yourself and your ego. I've never encountered somebody as needy and clingy as you. You have no idea how to fulfill or make anyone happy. He was accused of lying to her and pursuing her for years, according to her. You told me you were trying to mend our relationship, she wrote. You said you loved me. You told me that you wanted to spend time with me. You told me that you were sorry over and over again. You lied to me. My trust and my heart were broken. Fans and critics alike responded to Mary's tweets in a lot of different ways. Some people encouraged her and gave her praise for speaking up for herself and criticizing Cody's conduct. She received criticism and blame from others for her attitude and the adultery scandal that destroyed their marriage. However, Mary wasn't the only person who wasn't happy with Cody's behavior. In January 2023, Janelle Brown, who'd been legally married to Cody for 27 years prior to their divorce in 2014, so he could wed Robin Brown, also revealed that they'd been apart for a while. As Cody spent the most of his time with Robin and their five children throughout the epidemic, Janelle claimed that she felt ignored and neglected by him. Despite the fact that they resided in the same town, she claimed that she seldom ever spoke to or saw him. She added that she felt left out of the loop and had no voice in family choices. Janelle remarked that while she still loved Cody and hoped that things would work out, she also needed some space and time to consider what she wanted out of the life. She claimed that her priorities were her children, her business, and her health. Fans were shocked to learn that Janelle and Cody had broken up because their relationship appeared to be among the most solid and long-lasting among the sister wives. They'd been married since 1993 and had six children together. But it appears that Janelle wasn't the only person who felt left out by Cody and Robin. Christine Brown, who spent 25 years spiritually married to Cody until divorcing him in November 2021, also admitted that she felt left out of the holiday gatherings with the family. Christine stated that she wanted to spend Christmas with her kids and grandchildren, but Robin informed the sister wives through group text messages that they couldn't get together due to COVID-19 issues. Christine stated that she felt hurt and rejected by Robin's message since she believed that they were still family despite their disagreements. According to Christine, she decided to move on with her life and pursue her own happiness. She said that she was in a new relationship and that she was relishing her independence. She claimed that she was happier than ever and that she had no regrets about leaving Cody. What about Mary, though? What plans did she have for the holidays? Actually, it turns out that she did, but Robin also wrecked them. Mary stated that she felt bad for Janelle and her kids and wanted to spend some time with them. Therefore, she wanted to ask them to spend Christmas at her place. 
Cody was cautious and uncertain when she brought up this idea to him, though he declared that he didn't want to enrage Robin or stir up any trouble. He added that he didn't want to run the risk of being ill or transmitting the infection. He declared that he wanted to respect Robin's preferences and adhere to her regulations. Mary acknowledged that she shared his worry, but added that she missed Janelle and her kids and wanted to show them love and support. They should be together, she continued, since they were still a family. Robin then stepped in and maneuvered Mary into declining Janelle's invitation. She expressed her concern for Mary's health and safety in a text message to Mary. She mentioned that she'd heard Mary had been traveling a lot and could have been exposed to the virus. She claimed that she didn't want Mary to endanger Janelle and her kids or their relationship with Cody. Robin added that she felt like Mary was attempting to sabotage their marriage and that she was hurt by Mary's tweet. She expressed her wish that Mary would be more understanding of their situation and be supportive. She expressed that she wished that Mary would respect their limitations and refrain from interfering with their plans. Robin's message shocked and offended Mary. She felt like Robin was attempting to dominate her and was lying to her. Robin felt selfish and manipulative. She felt like Robin was attempting to keep her apart from the rest of the family and make her feel bad for wanting to visit them. Robin's advice was rejected by Mary, so she decided to go forward with inviting Janelle. She called Janelle and asked if she wanted to spend Christmas with her, and Mary's gesture startled and moved Janelle. She offered to visit and spend time with her, saying that she would love to. Mary was ecstatic to have Janelle around for Christmas and was happy about it. She thought it was a good way to show her some love and appreciation. They would have a good time and celebrate, she thought. She had no idea, though, that Robin had other plans for them. Robin decided to sabotage Mary's offer to Janelle after knowing about it. She told Cody what Mary had done over a phone call. Mary had betrayed them and broken their rules. Their safety and health were at risk, she told them. She told him Mary had tried to steal him away from her and disrespected their marriage. Robin demanded Cody to prevent Mary from seeing Janelle. She demanded Cody approach Mary and reprimand her. She demanded that Cody hold Mary accountable for her behaviors, and she demanded that Cody make a decision between Mary and her. Robin's demands left Cody conflicted and perplexed. He was at a loss of words and actions. He wanted to avoid hurting anybody or causing any problems. He didn't want to make any decisions or lose anyone. He didn't want to disappoint or enrage Robin, though. Robin was both his preferred and legal wife, and he knew this. Robin had a lot of influence and power on him, he knew. Robin could either make his life miserable or beautiful. So he decided to carry out what Robin wanted. He decided to call Mary and ask her to tell Janelle not to come over for Christmas. He decided to ruin their vacation and cancel their plans. He told Mary what he had decided over the phone. Her seeing Janelle or anyone else from the family, he told her, was not a smart idea. He told her he wanted them to retain their distance and be apart. Robin's rules and requests should be respected, he told her, adding that he wanted them to do so. He also told her that he was angry at her for tweeting those negative things about him. He told her that her words and deeds had hurt him and that he felt sad. He told her that he felt like she didn't love or care about him anymore. He told her that he didn't want to see her anymore and that he didn't want to see her. She was told that he wanted a divorce from her. Cody's words left Mary shocked and heartbroken. What he said and done were both beyond her belief. She made an effort to convince him of her side of the story. Although she was hurt by his words and deeds, she told him she was sorry for tweeting such things. She wanted to be with him and told him that she still loved him. She told him that she was doing her best to be understanding and supportive of his predicament. She told him that she wasn't out to steal his marriage or steal him from Robin. She also told him that she just missed Janelle and her kids and that she wanted to see them because they were a family. She wanted to show them some love and support, she told him. She told him that she wanted to get along with them and have a good relationship. She begged him to keep her in the family and not divorce her. She begged him to straighten things out with her and give her another chance. She begged him to care for her and to love her. Mary's pleadings failed to sway Cody, though. He asserted that nothing could change his decision once he had made it. He said that their marriage and she were over for him. He declared that he did not desire or love her anymore. After ending the call, he blocked her number. She was removed from his social media profiles, and he erased her from his life. Cody's rejection left Mary heartbroken and devastated. She felt like everyone and everything had been lost. She felt like her life was meaningless and without purpose. Hours of crying and sobbing later, she was left with no more tears to cry. The inside of her felt hollow and numb. She was clueless about what to do and where to go. 
She had no person she could trust or lean to. She was depressed and felt alone. That's all for today's videos, folks. This drama has left the fans wondering if Mary will finally leave the polygamous family and start a new life. What do you think of this situation? Let us know in the comments below. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next one.